my lovelies welcome back it's sophie here and we are going to be doing more house interiors for my villagers on honeydew and this started out very interesting because something that's never happened to me happened i went to do june's house and tom nook said no because she was sick i i don't know i mean i'm sure that I knew that this probably would happen, but I've just never seen it happen. I've never like coincidentally suggested to do someone's house when they're sick and poor June looks so bad, which you can see her house is actually renovated. She originally was supposed to just be a normal villager. Originally, everyone was going to be a normal villager, like just live in basic houses. But then I had the idea of having this massive shopping center and I thought I would turn a couple of the villagers' homes into businesses. I never really do this, but I've seen a lot of people who do this and it looks really, really cute. Just, I don't know, I think it's fun. I usually am very weird. I'm like, where well, they have to have somewhere to live. Where, where are they gonna where are they gonna sleep where are they gonna but then half the time they don't even have like a toilet so i don't know why i'm so upset they don't even need to eat they're literally video game characters like it doesn't matter if their house looks like a business it's it's all it's literally a game it doesn't matter but i'm weird but i decided i want to do something different for this this island i wanted to have some businesses so that's what we're doing here and First off, we are, uh, well, we were going to start with June, but that didn't happen. Um, I had to time travel the next day to do hers, which you'll see at the end. Uh, spoiler, I think I like her house the best. I think she got the coolest business. Um, no offense to all these other houses, but yeah, uh, right now we are working on Faith's house. I thought she'd be like the perfect little surfer girl. So she runs a surf shop and I wanted to make use of these massive window codes. I have never used window codes like this before. Like the ones I've had like basic windows, but never these ones that have these huge doors and like a ton of pieces. Um, so I wanted to make uh, use of that because I found that I didn't really have a lot of paths to use in this island. Like, oh my God, excuse me, I'm burping. I didn't burp in the, I'm, I'm filming a bunch of these all back to back. I didn't burp in my last one. That's amazing. Usually I burp in like all my videos. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just a burpy girl, I guess. But <laughs> anyways, um, what a voiceover this is. Um, yeah, I haven't really done these door codes where it's it's like really elaborate. So I wanted to use this one with the big glass panel doors and then the railing makes it look like you're on a balcony. I just thought that'd be perfect, especially for this shop. Like I can totally see a surf shop being right on the beach and you have tons of windows so you can look out and see the ocean and you can just step right out onto a little porch and balcony whatever you want to call it and there's the ocean there you are i think that's just perfect it makes sense um but yeah so i basically just did that in the back and then there's this little checkout counter where this little gyroid dude is working and then um really other than the surfboard there aren't surfing items so i just placed a lot of other similar things like i put out the um these like wetsuits i think i put out like some of the water sandals um and at first, I don't know why I did the sand floor. I just thought it'd be really cool if you went in a surf shop and the floor was like sand, but it just looked kind of stupid. So I ended up switching to just basic wooden flooring. And I think it's a little more realistic that way. Um, oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> one of those sandals um, was being used for a mod, which is why a giant boat popped up, which I didn't realize I never even used that boat on this island. I installed like so many mods and then I didn't even use them all. They're honestly, it's really fun having the modded items. But the thing is when I'm actually building, I forget they exist. So I end up just using normal items anyways. I'm trying to be better about that. Or just like if I'm gonna install a mod, make sure I'm like really, really gonna use it because I hate when I go to put down an item and it's some random ass item that I didn't even know I, I put in. Like I was like, wait, when did I get this boat? Like I just need to be a lot pickier, especially cause I've mentioned this before. It takes me like so long to install them on my SD card. It's, it's just so annoying. Like when I have like 60 mods, it's just, it's too much, you know? Maybe it's just because I'm used to like, you know, in the Sims, I have like literally like a thousand custom content items um i literally have so much cc it's insane and i'm like i don't need to be like that in animal crossing i shouldn't be like that in animal crossing because I, it, it's just it's not how this game is built i feel like the sims can handle mods animal crossing is just things get so funky and weird and goofed up with all the modded items so i'm like i need to use less um 
but yeah anyways uh i just babbled through that whole thing but i love how that little house turned out that little surf shop you will see extra footage at the end of me walking through it um i always try to get like outro footage although i'm really mad i did not get outro footage from mint's shop mint has not been home a single time since i renovated her house and i love how her house ended up looking and then she's freaking never home isn't that annoying when you do when you do a villager's house and they're never home so you can never look at it Oh, but anyways, now I am working on Azalea's house and I thought she would be perfect to have a plant store. I mean, her name is Azalea. She's a giant flower on her face. She was kind of born to run a little plant flower shop. So here I basically just got out every single plant item that exists in this game and all of the different flowers or anything I thought would work. It took me forever to find those stupid bag items because I knew I wanted to have like giant bags of soil, but I was like, is it a, a household item? Is it something that goes on top of stuff? I don't even remember where I found it. I don't even know what category it was in, <laughs> but it, yeah, sometimes I just can't find the items. You know, that's, that's really one of my beefs with New Horizons. The way that the items are sorted in your storage is so fucked up. I really hate that you have two basic categories and it's essentially large items and then items that can go on top of other stuff. Like everything in the miscellaneous category can go on top of, and that just doesn't make any sense because you've got plants in the houseware section because there's big ones, but then you also have plants in the little section. And then you, you have, it's just, everything's mixed up. You have, you have kitchen appliances that are in the big section. The, fr the refrigerators are their own section, I think, like separate from where like the stoves and the sinks are. It's so fucking weird. And then, yeah, like the coffee pots and everything in a totally another different section. I feel like it should be based on theme and not how big of a furniture item is this, you know? It doesn't make sense to have the large items in one section and all of the smaller ones in another because you've got like, yeah, some, you've got some music players in one section, some in another, some plant. It's just so annoying. Like when you want to actually go and say, oh, I want all the plants. You have to go to multiple sections. It's like, what is that? You're building a kitchen. Oh my God. You have to, there's the kitchen appliance section. And then there's the section just for refrigerators. And then there's the other kitchen section, like with the, it's, it's insane. It's ridiculous. I don't really like it. And it, it just drives me insane. I also, I don't think I'm making this up. Maybe I'm, I don't remember if this was a new leaf, but it was definitely in Happy Home Paradise where you could search for an item and it would show you like related things. So if I typed in sofa, it would also show me items with the word couch in it. Like it was smart enough to know like what you were looking for. Why is that not in this game? Because when I'm going to order stuff through the Nook catalog and I type in sofa and I can't find it because it's actually couch or chaise or armchair. Oh my God, it drives me insane. It's like, why why is the, the whole furniture UI in this game is just so not intuitive. It's honestly just such a nightmare, such a freaking nightmare. <laughs> Um, well, I ranted through all of Azalea's house, but you, you saw it. It's a plant shop. There's plants on tables everywhere. And now we are working on Mint's house. Of course, Mint has an ice cream parlor. Her name is Mint, like mint chocolate chip. And oh my God, I love this rug. This is not a rug that I've ever used to decorate, but this is like, this, this rug was born to be used in an ice cream parlor because it's literally like mint chip color and then the brown and the white is like chocolate and vanilla i love it i don't know why this counter that i did here was like so difficult for me to put together i feel like it's not that hard um and then i did use uh these ranch chairs and stuff i did install a mod so that they're a more minty green instead of the, the basic green i love that deep green they come in that's one of my favorite colors um my kitchen in like Basically every previous Animal Crossing game, like New Leaf, Wild World, all the ones I played, I always had that dark green, uh, well, the green set. We don't have the green set anymore, but when you customize the ranch furniture to be green, that's basically the, the green series. Um, so I do love it, but I just thought this minty green for uh, this island, since this island's supposed to be very soft, pastel-y colors, I thought it would just be perfect. And then, yeah, I just put a bunch of the little frozen treat sets and like the milkshakes and stuff out on the tables. 
I didn't get too crazy with the wall decor, I would say. I feel like I just left things very minimalist. I could have made it way more cluttered. I usually do make things more cluttered, but I thought, you know, this isn't Happy Home Paradise and this isn't my forever island. I just want to do a cute, simple build. You know, if I was doing this like on Peach, there'd be like way more items. Like this room would be so full. You couldn't even walk around it, but sometimes it's okay to just do a simple, basic build. It gets the job done. You know, it's an ice cream parlor. You can see what it is. It's cute. I like it. It doesn't need to be insane. Um, and yeah, I had so much fun with this. I love, I did, um, yeah, I don't know why the, the photos weren't showing up on the music player, but I love it. I did a little jukebox. Like I wanted it to feel kind of like a retro ice cream parlor kind of vibe, just with all the, all the weird carpet and the, you know, um, not karaoke jukebox i literally just said that word two seconds ago and it already left my brain um and then of course we have to do the special effects on everything in here to make everything look like it's cold um but yeah i just love how this little ice cream parlor turned out and here we are finally it's the next day june is alive she didn't die of her sickness and we're going in and changing her house up i did love that little house but i had the cutest idea i was thinking i think I had just gone shopping at Trader Joe's and I was like, oh my God, Trader Joe's would be a perfect build for this little cute coastal granddaughter island I'm doing. I feel like that's just like the epitome of like coastal granddaughter life, you know, going going to buy your bougie little treats and stuff from, from Trader Joe's that you don't really need. And June literally has a red hibiscus hairpin and that's like their loco. So I was like, oh my God, she has to run the Trader Joe's. And I did make, look at this code, you guys. I made it myself. It's nothing too crazy, but I'm proud of it. Like you can you can tell what it is. You look at it and you're like, yeah, that's a flower. Um, that, That's good for me. You know, if I finish a, a design code and you can tell what it's supposed to be, that is a success because normally you'd finish it and you'd be like, what is this? Um, but I tried to make it look like a Trader Joe's like I did. I tried to do like the weird checkout counters they have where like you push your cart through and the checkers like unloading your cart for you. I still feel like that's so weird, but it's kind of nice. I, I just feel like unloading your cart is just such a pain. Um, so I kind of like to do that. And then yeah, had my little gyro shopkeepers and I just wanted to put in a ton of these merchandise tables and put in anything that I could find that worked. Uh, but it really took me a bit of time to figure out like what items would make sense on the tables. Um, and it did also take a while because at first I just had these tables and then I remembered that this store shelf exists, which I'm literally putting it in right now. Um, so I ended up doing less of the tables and more of those shelves because they're literally perfect. I like forgot that these existed and I didn't use them in any other shops that I built. I feel like some of them could have worked in, like you maybe could have done one in the plant shop to be like, that's where you get your like plant supplies, like the, you know, like fertilizer or bags of soil. But I don't know, I didn't remember it existed until now. And yeah, I put out packs of all sorts of yummy fishies. And then I'm pretty sure I do like fruit and veggie baskets or something like that. Yeah, literally exactly, there we go. I um, wanted to have like the fresh produce section up front. Um, and then did I do these jar? I don't remember what I did. I guess I put jarred items. I think they're cute. I feel like I forget to use all these jarred items. Oh my God, and I did, that's the ramen cup, but I did it purple. I'm pretending it's the ube ice cream, which I did not know. The ube ice cream at Trader Joe's is seasonal. I got it one time, fell in love, went back, and they didn't have it. Cause I guess it's only in the summertime. So I'm gonna be living for next summer when they get that ice cream back. Cause it's so good. It's, oh my God, I love it. It's like, if you've never had ube or taro, it's really weird. Like it's kind of earthy, potato-y, but not in a gross way. Like it's sweet. It's basically a purple sweet potato. So it's really good. I feel like, I don't know. I, I really like it. I feel like if you're into flavors like matcha or, you know, um, pumpkin, like things that are maybe a little more earthy, I guess I would say. I feel like you might like it. I don't know. It's just very different. It's very unique. But yeah, if you like kind of weird out there flavors, you probably like it. But oh my God, it's so good. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just putting more stuff on the walls here. I'm trying to slap this flower coat everywhere. I worked so hard on it. 
<laughs> it took me probably half an hour to make just literally a basic little flower. I don't know how people who make like whole dresses and paths do it. People are just magical. But look at this. It's so freaking cute. I love it. Um, oh yeah. And then I fixed her exterior to have a red door. So it'd be more on brand. And yeah, that's it for all these sneak peek of how the outsides of the houses look. Uh, you will see uh, that as a part of my shopping center build in an upcoming video. But here is how their interiors turned out. I love it. June literally looks like she was born to work at a Trader Joe's. She is in the full on uniform right now. I freaking love it for her. It's just so cute. Um, and then here next to her, we had the surf shop. Um, it's very basic out front, just a couple surfboards. But once you're inside, you, there's no question what this is. It's a surfing supply shop. It feels so beachy. I love that the wetsuits are actually dripping. Um, yeah, I did not get any outro footage of Min's house because she's never fucking home. Literally, I'm done with the island now by the time you're seeing this. This island has been done for a long time. Never saw Min's house once. Literally so annoyed at her. I'm like, why are you never home? Why is she like this? Um, but thankfully I did get to see these two and Asalia's house. Um, and I love this little plant shop. I have been itching to buy plants and I so wish I had a little cute plant shop like this near me. Um, I probably do, honestly. I just need to do more looking. But yeah, I hope you all really enjoyed seeing these houses and hopefully they were inspiring for you for your own villager houses or your resident rep house or happy home paradise or whatever houses it is you are designing. There's so many interiors you can do in this game. And yeah, that is it. Oh my God, I forgot this was my outro clip I put in. Look at these girls. Aren't they amazing? If you want to be one of these cool kids, like these villagers, you should hit a thumbs up because all the cool kids like my videos. Or you can thumb it down. That that counts for something too. Um, apparently any engagement is good engagement on YouTube. So whatever you want, but I prefer a thumbs up. And yeah, I love you all so much. You're amazing. And I will see you all in the next video. Uh, stay tuned for some more fun honeydew builds. We are so close to finishing the island. Ah, um, but yeah.